should be the lucky, 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 lucky. I should be the lucky, lucky, lucky. Okay, so I'm here at Pizza Express Holborn with the girls from Oz. Welcome, girls. G'day. Hi, G'day. 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 <laughs> it's great to have you on the show here, and we, we've caught you just before you're about to do your rehearsal. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, We're doing wait. a show tonight. Um, it's Australia Day today, yay. and yay! <laughs> Happy Australia Day. Happy Australia Day. So we're doing uh, a very Aussie-themed show. Obviously, we take um, our, our the thing that we do is we take Australian songs like ACDC, Men at Work, Kylie, yeah. Sia, um, you know, all the kind of classic Aussie um, artists, and we have them reworked in a very unique way. Um, so usually three-part harmony, and we have some incredible arrangement arrangements made by some uh, of the West End's top musical directors as well. So that's oh, right. That's great. Um, yeah, do you want to introduce yourselves briefly? So you, you yeah. are. Uh, I'm Cara. Cara. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm Jessica. And I'm Sally. The redhead, the brunette, and the blonde. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. And I believe there's sometimes more of you, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So um, the group has been expanding over five years, and, uh, and now we're getting more and more gigs booked. Um, and obviously, we, we keep losing girls because they right. all. They get to pull it. So we actually have three different casts now. Right. So um, who can kind of step in and swap and change whenever, you know, so we're pretty much always available for gigs. Oh, yep. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes we have multiple gigs on one day, so right. that helps having other people available. Mm-hmm. I yeah. see. Right. Now, I believe that you're, are you West End performers? Is that what you're Yeah, you're indeed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so uh, that's how we're all trained. Like, yeah. Sally's done uh, Jesus Christ Superstar, Jess right. has done... Uh, Kinky Boots and Priscilla Queen of the Desert. Right. Um, I played Mrs. Banks and Mary Poppins and Magenta and Rocky Horror and Reno Sweeney and Anything Goes and a few other shows like that. So, yes. yeah, we're very much trained in that. And yet, um, over the last couple of years, we've really expanded into def- different areas of music and our group definitely doesn't have a specific style. Okay. Really. So we're kind of so right. Jazz, yeah. yes. musical, theatre, vintage yeah. sort of MGM musical style. We right. do okay. everything. Yeah, yeah. we right. kind of yeah. flip everything on <laughs> yeah. yeah. head. Yeah. It's just the most entertaining <coughs> evening. Like, yeah. it really Very is. Theatrical. Theatrical. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, we're looking forward to it. So you'd say one of the main things you do in the group, you do different versions of... Yeah. Existing songs, is that, yes. is that right? So yeah. give, give us an example then. Um, so we do a fantastic version of Land Down Under, arranged by Neil oh, Rutherford. It's one of my favourites. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's, it's funny, but it's also um, in a very witty, ironic way. So the, right. the arrangement is beautiful. Yeah. Like, it is absolutely stunning. And it starts off with these gorgeous, um, in uh, Aboriginal-inspired... Um, haunting chance, really. chance yes. type thing yeah. and so it kind of sets it up like this beautiful song and then the lyrics come in of <laughs> Land Down Under that everyone knows like yes. travelling in a fried out combi and yes. suddenly everyone laughs because it's the irony between the beautiful Aboriginal yes. sounds and then the you know the kind of tacky <laughs> lyrics oh, yeah. that we know from the I song that, that makes sense because um, I've read that you, you, you cover bands like ACDC and you yeah. also cover singers such as Kylie, yeah, absolutely. but it, it sounds like you also draw on traditional Australian music as well. Uh, yeah. yeah, a little bit as well. We do um, a Christmas show and there's, um, you know, we do a lot of uh, traditional Australian carols in that as well. Oh, so, right. yeah, it's cool. So it's, it's a real mixture then when you put on the shows. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Never the same. <laughs> yeah. I, I can imagine your audience is a mixture as well. So, I mean, obviously we get Australian yeah. people at the gig, but you'll get people from all around the world as well. Yeah, we absolutely. do actually. Actually, uh, one of our gigs that we did um, two Christmases ago, uh, we were talking to the audience afterwards and there were people that came over from Belgium, I think it was. Oh, right. And yeah, we were like, yeah. oh, okay, you're visiting family. And they were like, no, we've come over to see you specifically. Oh, and I was like, yeah. wow, that's, amazing. that's incredible. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's awesome. And also um, we work with the Jive Aces, who are the UK's number one swing and jive band. Oh, okay. And they're our guests tonight, actually. And um, oh, right. But we do a few gigs with them. And so it's quite nice we're starting to get a bit of a, a vintage swing following as yeah. well which is great yeah. mm. the yeah. show is quite nostalgic and it's right. very suitable for anyone who's ever lived overseas or spent any time oh, okay. away from home right. which I think is one of the uh, the draw factors for people that mm. yes. are living in London which is particularly diverse 
Yeah. yeah. Especially on a day like this, like Australia Day. It's yeah. really important. Yeah. But saying that, it's also that. not just for Aussies. Like, we are oh, very, yeah. we cater specifically for the British audience yeah. or yeah. for people yeah. who have lived in, in the UK for a long time. Yeah. So. Um, are you three, all Australians who have lived in the UK for yeah. a number so of years? So, I've been over here for 17 years. Right. So, I've been faking it as a Brit ever since. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sally's been here for. Uh, I was here, yeah, six years in total. I was, was five right. years, went back for one year, and okay. I've come back again. So, six years total. I'm uh, married I, to a Brit. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty fresh. I'm, okay. I'm, I've right. been here for a year. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. 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 So, um, it's nice, actually. Like, I've been here the longest, obviously, for yeah. 17 years. And there was, like, a really long period where I hardly knew any Australians yeah. whatsoever. I just yeah. really kind of... My life over here just became, you know, um, very based around London friends yes. who are, yeah. you know, from all over the world. Yeah. But I hardly knew any Australians. Okay. And now running this group, mm-hmm. um, there are so many yes. Australians. So many Can't Australians. Wait enough now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely helpful moving yeah. here and yeah. having auditions for you guys and having a bunch of Aussie girls who just yeah. want to talk about, you know, how how <laughs> being here in London and how fun that is. Yeah. 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 Experiences now, like that. Are you able to teach me some Australian Sayings. I mean, I, I know a few, but I'm not sure how up to date they are. So okay. What about yeah. phrases? Phrases that. What What are the ones that you know? <laughs> Putting you on the spot now. Okay. Yeah, I've got a few <laughs> here. Let's see. Well, there's things like tinnies for beer. Is that oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's correct. Yeah, if you said um, you're a few tinnies short of six pack, it okay. means you're not yeah. that bright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very confusing for everyone because pants back home yeah. are trousers here. Ah, so okay. sometimes <laughs> you might want to say, yes. "Put your pants on." <laughs> you already. <laughs> Oh, you would hope you already have pants on. on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Or duvet and duna. Yes. Like yeah. we call a duvet duna over yeah. in Australia. Yeah. That's confusing. Absolutely. Yeah. And a root. So when people oh, say yeah. router, like, right. you know, what you use to have your Wi-Fi. Um, okay, yeah. A, a right. root back home is actually a sexual term. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. it can get very confusing yeah. in a conversation when you're looking for the root. Where's your root? <laughs> well, okay. actually, um, it's been a while. <laughs> 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 yes, and, and I guess a lot of people from the UK, you know, they grew up with Australian soap operas. Yeah, so they're, like, kind of, uh, they're picked upon on the culture, on the culture yeah, from there. I was in Home and Away, actually. Oh, were you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. I was. So which, which part <laughs> did you? Oh, I was like a featured, <laughs> yeah, I was a featured, like, guest, like, featured artist type thing. Okay. I had a name. I can't remember what it was. Right. But <laughs> it was I didn't have a name. I just sat on the beach. Oh. <laughs> in, the oh, okay. in the background. I, I sometimes <laughs> like to joke that Carl and Susan are my biological parents. Just okay. you know, <laughs> people don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up on Ramsey Street as far as everyone else. Oh, right. yes. <laughs> of course, you're from Melbourne. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, right. So you've been in the soaps as well. That's uh, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I believe that a way you can tell whether someone's from New Zealand or Australia, somebody mm-hmm. taught me this, they yeah. said, uh, get somebody to say fish and chips. Yes, fish oh, yeah. and chops. Oh, fish and <laughs> chops. <laughs> we actually have one New Zealand girl in the group, um, oh. and she is hilarious. She's amazing. Um, but I think it, it comes from the fact that she, even though we don't want, you know, we're, we're totally embracing the whole um, Antipodean, oh, I nearly yeah. said Antipodeans, Antipodean right. um, <laughs> thing. So we welcome, you know, anyone from that part of the world um, yes. in our group. Um, but she does tend to put on an Australian accent, and I think because she's not naturally Australian, oh. and she's characterising it, it's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> we so, find it hilarious. So, so in New Zealand, is it fush? Yeah, and so we fush and chop, fush yeah. and chop, or like on beach days, brew. Uh, right. Like beef. Oh, I like that. Like beef. <laughs> but you can really New tell. Zealand is that? Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what but we say yeah. fish and chips. Fish, fish, fish and chips. Fish and chips. Yeah. Yeah. Fish and chips. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> And um, will you be putting the uh, billy on later on? Oh, the billy. Oh, oh, boiling the billy. Boiling the billy. Boiling the billy. billy. Putting a, swinging it around, yeah. making a cuppa. Yeah, <laughs> making a cuppa. Yeah. Boiling the billy, yes. This yeah. arbor? It's actually it's quite arbor, a skillful, yes. skillful exercise because you have to spin it around without letting the tea drop out of the tin can. Ah, yeah. okay. So that's so. a way to cool down the billy. <laughs> yes, but that's actually a camping kettle, isn't it? Not yeah, like it is, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So probably a standard kettle, I should think, would be. We're not swinging, <laughs> swinging tin no. cans around in our Imagine. kitchen back home. <laughs> yeah. Interesting today. All right, uh, that's great. Now... We spoke briefly a bit earlier. You do, as well as traditional Australian songs, you yep. also cover some, uh, well, pop and rock songs such as yeah. ACDC and Carly. Do you want to tell us yeah. a bit about, a bit about the versions of that? Um, well, okay. All I can say is I have an incredible team because 
I approached one of our arrangers and I went, okay, so what I want is an ACDC medley. Okay. And that starts with, you know, a bit of jazz. It's quite jazzy. But then I want an opera diva to do like a Priscilla, Queen of the Desert type of opera moment. Okay. Oh, and then um, I want it to go into like a full-on rock. And then I'd also love to have the bagpipes. I like yeah. yeah, so um, <laughs> they pulled that out of the bag. It was amazing. Um, you have some arrangers you work with. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so um, yeah, so a few arrangers who I kind of we kind of come up with some ideas, um, and uh, and uh, then I approach them, and and they just are incredible at being able to put my ideas down into yeah. music and actually make it happen. So that's great. Yeah. Right, and, and what's the Carly song that you do? Oh, we um, do a few, really. Yeah. Yeah. I Should Be So Lucky, which yeah. the Brits always love, which we do in uh, sort of a, a, a view doo-wop, doo-wop, yeah, style. doo-wop yeah. style. Yeah. Um, yeah. We've got some lovely yeah. choreography to go with that. Right. Yeah, and then um, we have Can't Get, can't get, get You Out of My yeah. Head, which okay. is very jazz kind of standard. Yeah. And we definitely um, have to do the locomotion at some point. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's vintage anyway. Kylie kind of took that from the 50s. Exactly. That's true, yes. Yes. Now, in terms of your stage performance, are you dancing at the same time, or what's what's the... Uh, yeah, so we have a bit of a mixture. So we have some choreography, um, and um, and then you know there are other times where we just really enjoy what the band are doing. So yes. we have a band as well. Oh, I'd like to introduce the band. Yeah, yeah. sure. They are um, our all-female beaut band. Um, <laughs> today we have Gemma Hawkins um, on piano. She's yeah. our MD. Um, she yeah, actually was like, yeah. an okay. occasional singer. Well. She yeah. sings Very a fourth half, a fourth harmony sometimes. Yes. Um, and on double bass, we have Sophie Walker. Okay. Um, on drums, we have Annette Price. Um, and on baritone saxophone, today we have Lottie B, who um, is a well known jazz saxophone- saxophonist right. mm-hmm. um, around London. So, yeah, that's exciting. Um, yeah, so they are our band today. And then, obviously, as I said earlier, we have the guest artist, uh, the Jive Aces, coming in today yes. as well to do a couple of numbers with us. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. Now, to move on to recordings now, mm-hmm. uh, do you guys have albums out, or where, about, where are you with that? We are working on our very first album Ooh. now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for mentioning. Okay. Um, yeah, Which thank is why you. we have the Jive Aces here today, right. showcasing a couple of songs okay. that we have specifically recorded with them for the album. Ah, yeah. Okay, so do you want to tell us a bit about the album? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so um, again, they are all Australian songs. So with yeah. the Jive Aces, we've recorded a version of Georgie Girl by okay. The Seekers. Um, we've also recorded uh, Staying Alive, um, oh, obviously Bee Gees, the Bee Gees, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, so they're the two Australian songs that the Jives are featured in in, yes. in the album. And uh, we are in the process of recording more songs and also we're about to head up to um, a, a studio, a filming studio up in Birmingham right. um, in the next couple of months to do some music videos as well. Oh, right. So, yeah, that's uh, that's exciting. So watch yeah. this space. <laughs> <laughs> keep watching us yes. on social media and we'll keep you updated with that, definitely. Yes. Now, speaking of social media, where's mm-hmm. the best place for people to find you? Oh, well, at the Girls From Oz is right. our tag for Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram. Ah, right. okay. um, yeah. So please go ahead and follow us and yeah. hashtag the Girls From Oz if you do want to uh, take a video at any of our gigs and and help us find that, yes. um, but we try and have a very active social media presence, um, particularly at the moment we've been trying to raise as much funds as we can for the bushfires back home, oh, okay, yeah. um, which we're also um, in our 8pm show tonight at Pizza Express Hoban going yes. to be taking a collection ah, okay. uh, for yeah. the bushfires, it's obviously very close to our heart. Yes, absolutely. Specifically yes. for Wires um, Wildlife. Uh, rescue. We yes. love koalas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we love koalas. 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 It's heartbreaking. Yeah, it's been awful watching the footage. Yeah, on it's really hard. It's, uh, it's so hard yeah. being here and not being able to. Yeah. Do yeah, you feel a bit yes. helpless. Yeah. yeah, we can't. Yeah. Yeah, I was home over Christmas actually, and um, it's it's heartbreaking watching you know firsthand what was happening. Yeah. Um, and despite best efforts. I, you know, tried to volunteer my time, but really, you can't be of much help unless you're a fiery uh, or right. you are a trained vet. So oh, okay. we're going to do yes. our very best tonight to yes. to help those people. For fundraising, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yes. Absolutely. We're also collecting for the Australian Red Cross. Okay, all right. That's great. We're doing yeah. a collection. We're doing a collection, collection tonight. Yeah. 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 Will that be the case at all the gigs you've got coming up? Um, depending on if we the venue is allowed. Yes. Yeah. It's obviously yeah, very venue specific. Actually, yeah, because you know, we haven't actually thought that far in advance. I don't think anyone anticipated 
how big the f and how long no, the fines were going to go on for. We yes. did do a gig last night, um, right. which was for Bogan Bingo, okay. um, who, uh, if you've ever been to that in Fulham, it's a hoot of a time. Oh, right. um, <laughs> but they had uh, some acts showing to help raise money for the same cause. So ah, we did okay. have a presence there last night yes. as well. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, I'm so sure we've been doing a couple of gigs over this weekend to, yeah, at events helping to raise money as well. So. Yes, well, I'm, I'm sure a group like yourselves would be good to, to yeah. raise awareness for the call. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay, so, so that was your gig last night and you're obviously yeah. at Pizza Express Holborn this evening. Yeah. And I believe you're on a, a bit of a tour at the moment, is that right? Uh, well, a little bit of a mini tour. We've, yes. well, we've got a few gigs, a few public gigs coming up. Um, so in a couple of weeks' time, on the 15th of February, we have a gig at the Lito Jazz Club in uh, Folkestone. Okay, yes. Um, then we have uh, actually another Pizza Express gig in Maidstone okay. mm -hmm. um, on the 28th of March, I think it is, <coughs> Saturday night, 28th of March. Yeah. And then um, another one for Anzac Day, actually, on um, the 24th of April okay. um, at <coughs> Crazy Cox, so at Zidal, right. Zidal right. in um, Piccadilly Circus. So there's a few chances for people to catch you. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Quite Absolutely. <coughs> And we do take private bookings as well. We've got a few <laughs> yeah. coming up. So if you do okay. have a gig right. yeah. or an event, People please can book do you get in as well. Yeah. <laughs> we also have a subgroup to the Girls from Mars, which is just vintage stuff. So, yes. you know, we do the whole Andrew Sisters thing as well. Oh, so. right. well. I'm sure our listeners will be interested in the Piccadilly Circus gig. That would be yeah. good one for them to come down. Do you say yeah. It was, yeah. Is it Cafe Z or? Zadel. Zadel. Yeah, Live at Zadel. Yeah, just off very close to Piccadilly Circus Station. They've got the oh, yeah. restaurant you can go to, but you can also come down to the venue, buy tickets, sit and there, have, have some cocktails. And there, oh my god, yes. you need so to so even fun. just pop in and have a look. Yes. Like it's, it's like the Orient Express. Well it says it's, it's very... It's got a 1920s yeah, feel. Oh, it it's almost like a, yeah. a bit of a speakeasy because yeah. you go to the yeah. back yeah. of the French cafe and you go down these this staircase and suddenly you're in this grand, beautiful foyer. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's like stepping back in time, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's like going back to 1928. It is, yeah. It's beautiful, yeah. No, you guys would be, or girls should I say, be go down very well. Yeah, we love it there. We love it. Yeah. So, for tonight, what can the audience expect? Um, loads of laughs. <laughs> Lots of Australia. That means yeah. Australia, yeah. for anyone who... Australia. Yeah. Um, yeah, just, you know, um, fun songs, but beautiful arrangements of them. Yes. I think that's, that's what we kind of pride ourselves in, yeah. is we are really down-to-earth, right. um, very kind of funny and, um, you know, just real about yes. everything. But at the same time, we have that glamorous vintage yeah. um, vibe about us and beautiful arrangements of songs. So, yes. yeah, it's a lovely kind of balance between the two. Yes. Um, so you're, yeah, you're about fun, but also about the music as well. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And we've got the banging band tonight, and we've also got the Jai Bases, so it's going to be a fantastic eclectic mix. Yes. Um, and we've got a bit of tap dancing thrown in. We do. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I know. Everyone fantastic. loves it. All sorts of rhythm sections here tonight. Nice. <laughs> Well, that sounds great. And it is actually Australia Day today. It is. It is. Yes. Happy Australia Day. <laughs> but, but today, how do Australians celebrate? Typically? Well, um, actually, there's usually it's usually a day off in Australia. Yeah. So today, because it's a Sunday, they actually have tomorrow off. Ah, okay. Um, yes. So they're celebrating over two days, really. Yes. Lots of barbecues. Yeah. Lots right. of barbecues, Barbies. lots of beers. <laughs> in the backyard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean... But I think it's more, uh, you know, we try and make it more about family and bringing everyone together yes. and celebrating. And being away from home, especially with our show, I think it's yeah. about that too, coming together and remembering that, you know, we're all family, yes. and, yeah. you know, wherever you are in the world. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's great. Well, thanks very much, girls, yeah, for right. talking to us today. Sorry, to Cara, no <laughs> Jessica no and Sally, thanks very much. Yeah, you're yeah. very welcome. Thanks. Now, before you go, we'd just like you to participate in a quick one-minute quiz. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Love it. Now, it's Love called it. Favourite Ten, and we're going to give it an Australian theme this okay, week. Okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, you can either all give answers or alternate, whichever. We'll see how we feel, eh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Top of each other. Okay. That. So, are you ready to go? Yeah, yeah. Oh, of course. Okay. Let's do this. Here we go. Uh, Favourite Aussie actor. Oh, Hugh Jackman. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, Nicole musical theatre, come on. Yeah, Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Russell Crowe. Oh, what are, um, those, oh, the Hemsworth. Oh, oh, oh they, they are. They are so good. They are safe. Moving on to favourite Aussie singer? Uh, uh, Sia. Sia is Sia. Sia. Yeah. Yeah. 
uh, Tim Minchin. Okay. We do a bit of we Tim Minchin. Oh, I oh, love, love Tim Minchin. Yeah. I mean, Kylie, oh. she's iconic as well. Who yeah. could forget a bit of yeah. Kylie? Yes. But yeah. I mean, Sia is the girl. Yeah. And I love yeah. ACDC. I mean, I grew up with ACDC. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay. Even though they're half Scottish, but hey. All right. Okay. We claim them. We claim a lot yeah. of people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, favorite of the soap opera? I'd play Neighbours. I'd play Home and Away. Oh yeah. my god. Oh, oh, it's from Melbourne. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. sorry, Jess. Every night. <laughs> it's only because I was in it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Okay, come on. I just prefer the beach as to Ramsey Street. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 But the drama of Ramsey Street. Come on. <laughs> All right, so a few different answers there. That's good. That's good. Uh, moving on to. Uh, favorite place in Australia to go on vacation? Noosa. Oh, I, I would Noosa. say uh, the Daintree Rainforest. I went up there right. and I stayed in a, a tree house. Oh, that's oh, right. yeah, that that's really cool. cool. Yeah, and there's like, spiders though. That's the only thing in the oh, tree. Oh, look, sorry, there's only one spider in that room. Yeah, Queensland, Queensland is always a good area to go. Oh, it's quite far for me. It's not really that far. <laughs> it gets quite cold in Melbourne. But Tasmania, apparently, is oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's got the freshest, cleanest air in, in the world. All oh, right, there we go. I didn't know that. Good yeah. escape from London. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, this might be a tricky one. Uh, Sydney or Brisbane? Brisbane. 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 Yeah, Brisbane. Oh, straight away. <laughs> <laughs> Not a tricky one. Right. I lived in Sydney for three years. I'm from years. Brisbane, so I'm like. Oh, right. <laughs> and I feel like like Sydney was quite and cold. Brisbane, and yeah. Not cold as in temperature, but yeah. like like people. Yeah. <laughs> people were cold. People were heartless. Oh, <laughs> it's, 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 it's very businessy, isn't it? It's very, very yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, veggie mites or vegetables? Veggie mites. Veggie mites. <laughs> They're happy little veggie mites. Fresh and fresh and beans. We may do that number two. We might do. Yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Uh, favorite Aussie beach? Oh. 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 Beach up near Rockhampton, where I'm from. Okay. Um, uh, I love Bay. up in Noosa, just off Hastings Street. I can't remember the name of the actual beach, but right. that beach is beautiful. Just yeah, very specific. I mean, there are a lot yeah, of beaches. There are I mean, it, it, we're basically just one big beach. Well, on the yeah. East Coast. <laughs> yeah. We don't have as much in Mel- in Melbourne, but uh, yeah. Mornington's lovely. I mean, you can go to the beach in the UK, obviously, but it's usually a bit colder. Yeah, yeah. 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 been to Brighton and it. And they've got beach. rocks. Who <laughs> wants yeah. 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 to yeah. so an, an amazing beach up past Newcastle that is just like white oh, sand. Yeah. And oh. I was there during summer and the water was really warm wow. and there was no one else. It was like being in Australia. Oh, lovely. Mm. We'll to go there. Okay, yeah. we'll tour up there, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we've got a couple more to go. Uh, Favourite Australian song? Oh, um, you're the boy, China. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. John, John, John Farnham. John Farnham. John Farnham. Yeah, no, I still love, I still call Australia high. Yeah, it's just an iconic. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, I also yeah, really yeah. like, um, we are one, oh. we are many. <laughs> and from all the lands on earth we come, we share a dream. We sing with one voice, I am you, we are Australian. Because I, there's so many different verses and it really kind of yeah. covers the multinational uh, yeah. The yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And finally, we can put this a little bit ready, but uh, we can't order fish or chips. What's going to be? Oh. Oh. Fish or I, chips. I, I or chips. Oh, fish. Oh, oh. No, I'm chips. Oh. Give me I do a, love a good fish. I love a chippy. But, al- but also we have um, what's called potato cakes. Um, oh, or yeah. scallops, oh, um, scallops, yeah. scallops, whatever you guys, but I call also, them potato cakes. Yeah. But. but you're also going to have chicken salt. Oh, oh yeah, you guys salt. have chicken, chicken salt. salt. Yeah. There's, there's a fish and chips um, in, in Southfields that has ah. chicken salt. And I actually dropped off to the flyers there the other day. Oh, it was boy. like, we have heaps of Aussies come here because we have chicken salt. Oh, yeah, it's like, an Australian thing? It's like a yeah. commodity here. If you have chicken oh. salt, you are it's gold. It's carcinogenic, <laughs> but it's absolutely oh, delicious. Oh, great. It's definitely I didn't know worth that. it. <laughs> <laughs> worth every candy. Is that some sort of fried fish? It's like a processed salt, but it tastes like... It's supposed to taste like chicken, but it just has this real tang to it. And on chips, I mean, it's the best. Yeah, it's, it's the best right. thing. Well, thanks, guys, for completing Favourite 10. Uh, do you want to give us a bit of that rendition of that Australia song? Because that sounded good. Uh, oh, oh, that was amazing. Should, should we one. do one? We could do Vegemite. Um, yeah. yeah, a bit of that. Okay, yeah. Should I, should I start with my song and you guys the... come in? Yep. We're happy little Vegemites, as bright as bright can be. We all enjoy our Vegemite for breakfast, lunch, and tea. Our mommy says we're growing stronger every single week because we love our Vegemite. We all adore our Vegemite. It puts the rose 
in every cheek. Come on, girls. We're happy little Vegemites, as bright as bright can be. We all enjoy our Vegemite for breakfast, lunch, and tea. We love a cup of Mommy says we're growing stronger every single week because we love our Vegemite. We all adore our Vegemite. It puts a rose, it puts a rose, it puts a rose in every cheek. We all adore our Vegemite like us is good in everybody. <laughs> I thought that I was thinking, ooh, it's deeper than I'm used to. Thanks. No. Fantastic. I was going to ask you about three-part harmony, but you've answered the Yeah, three-part harmony. Yeah, Not sure how good that was, but... Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Excellent. Different key. Uh, we can be, be versatile. That's going to be really good. Yeah. No, that's great. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks again, girls. Have a, a lucky Australia Day. Oh, thanks, thanks so much. Happy Australia. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks for interviewing us. Five, six, seven. One, one. I should be so lucky, 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 lucky. I should be so lucky, lucky. Shoo, doo I should be so lucky, lucky, lucky. I should be so lucky in love.